Hello my friends, I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 19 of season 7 of Supernatural. So, where are we at? Last time around was fun. Last time around we got to uh, meet Garth again. And that dude is just... I don't know, it's just something about him. He's wholesome, he's fun, he's... Um, he's light-hearted, he's what these two boys need because everything about them is just so much pain and depression and anguish and just like mental strain and just like they're just not plain not having fun in life and garth on the other hand he seems to actually have fun you know and i think he would be a great influence uh, on them if he were around more often but last time was the second time we saw him and that also makes me concerned because, like, we don't have friends who are alive. <laughs> Basically, we have Cass. And that's about it. But Cass is out of commission. Uh, we met him two episodes ago. He resurfaced as this healer, Emmanuel. Uh, he had lost his memories. We helped him get them back. And he took on Lucifer, like the memories, Lucifer memories uh, from Sam. So, like... He's going a bit crazy in a psych ward at the moment and just like hanging out. So like besides him, we don't really have anyone left alive. And if, I mean, introducing Garth and like the more screen time he gets, uh, the more certain it is that we're going to kill him off at some point as well, you know, <laughs> because we can't have friends, apparently. What else? Last time all around, we also saw Bobby again which was neat. Uh, I enjoyed that. Uh, it was kind of expected, uh, but it's always nice to get confirmation of the things you suspect and so on. Um, I feel like I'm a fairly decent hunter at this point. Uh, I feel like the show has taught me well. And yeah, it, that's, that's a really fun aspect to this show, uh, being able to like problem solve with the boys. But yeah, anyways, last time we around we saw Garth, and we dealt with a Monster of the Week. And yeah, that was basically it. We also had these questions surrounding Bobby. Uh, and then he was revealed uh, at the end to be actually a ghost attached to the hip flask that Dean is carrying around of Bobby's the memento. So maybe we are going to focus on that. I've checked that th this season has 23 episodes, but this is episode 19 now. So we also really need to start working on the Leviathan thing. Like, we we don't really have anything to work on there, is the issue. You know? Like, how are we going to get to them? Uh, we don't know. Like, we, we need new developments there. We need something to change uh, in, in order to get at the problem, you know? Uh, the person we kind of relied on has been missing. Presumed dead, but not really. I don't think so. Don't know. So let's see what this next episode has to bring and see if, what new developments we can expect. I do hope it's Leviathan related because, I mean, we're getting up there. It's, season finale is not too far off at this point. Or is it? It's this episode and four more, actually. So there's five episodes left, including this one. Maybe we can waste one more, or not waste, you know, waste. I cut myself again, by the way. I have a new chef's knife, and it's really sharp. It's my first good knife that I've ever had, and it's really sharp. <laughs> I'm not used to it, <laughs> but it's going to be good in the long run, I think. Anyways, let's get to the episode, shall we? Uh, before we get started, though, I just quickly want to mention the Patreon. On the Patreon, I am eight episodes ahead of where I am on YouTube, which is uh, four weeks of videos, and they are also uncut on Patreon, uh, not edited down like here on YouTube. So if that interests you, feel free to check it out. Links in the description down below. There's also all the other shows that I do, such as Dragon Prince, uh, Avatar, Last Airbender, and Legend of Korra, and uh, uh, Gravity Falls, and Arcane, Invincible, like tons of stuff. And yeah. Uh, yeah, if, I, if it interests you, links in the description. But with that said, it's time to get into episode 19 of season 7 of 
Supernatural. Here we go. You know. Does it say, yeah, it says macho. Even though the world's going to crap. They have macho tacos. <laughs> you guys anywhere nearby? Near enough. Cool. Why don't we meet at the Pierfront restaurant? Lunch? One o'clock? Yeah, bye. Who's this lady? I mean, I'm guessing that she must be a hunter, but we've never seen her before. We shouldn't be here. Yeah. Oh, kids. No. Horny kids. That are probably going to meet with some terrible accident. And this woman is going to be related. Hmm. Curious. Oh, ghost activity. I I'm feel fairly sure that this is like two separate things, right? That would be a pretty neat twi twist. Who are you? You shouldn't have come here. And now when she's walking in this, like, it's now. And those two, two teenagers were, like, in the past somewhere. Or maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. Dick Roman is funding another archaeological dig. Guy moves more dirt in the Drudge Report. Why is he digging? Anything on what he's digging for? Don't you think I would let with that? <laughs> no reason to be snarky, Dean. It was just a, it's a legitimate question. You know she and Bobby had a thing, right? Yeah. And? Kind of a foxhole thing. Very Hemingway. She and I kind of went Hemingway this one time, too. Oh, that's cute. That happens. Wait, you too? Look, it was a while <laughs> Oh, she's hungry. <laughs> I didn't have a soul. That's understandable, then. I do really, and really enjoy a woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go for it. Well, nothing. Straight to voicemail. Something's not right. What's she doing on Bodega Bay? She's working some kind of job. She didn't really say. So, check the news. You know, check the newspapers. You might find something. You might find the job that she's investigating. Let's go check out Annie's motel room. How are you gonna reach them? How are you gonna reach these kids? Uh, local law, always on the ball. All right. Guys, so built in 1862. <laughs> he, he looks like he's. Yeah, you did just make it shimmy. It looks like he's trying so hard. <laughs> Honey, okay, so not Leviathan related, but ghost related. Maybe this is good too because this lets us focus on Bobby and maybe contact him, you know, or become aware of him. All right, let's go. Oh, most haunted house, huh? This looks like the real deal. Bobby, I'm a ghost. Yeah, you're at AA. <laughs> I know what you did last night. And you know it was forbidden. I don't brook that sort of thing in my home. Don't do it again, Dexter. Or there will be consequences. Okay, so I guess the teenagers were there on the same night as Annie. So where the hell is she? Bobby? Or maybe it was referring to Annie. Oh no, she's dead. Okay, so that's how this episode is going to play out. Bobby's going to try to be the the bridge between Annie and the boys and figure it out that way. I feel like I was drugged. I get it. I figure it was a month before I even knew I was still here. You're doing well. Terrific. No, that's not it. It's the house that's affecting her somehow. You ran away from your reaper. On purpose? That yes, because he has boys he has to look after. As a regular ghost with no choice in the matter, screw you. Hey, I got no well, uh, choice. Choice. Ghosts do have choices in the matter, right? Well, maybe not always. Is there a fun aspect to this? I mean, I've seen poltergeist bench a piano as a warm up. Yeah. I tried to help the boys. The key. Out knocking a book off the table and blacked the, out for two uh, weeks. Okay, yikes. But the key, I think, like, 
as far as I remember, from the town where no one died, where they were, where uh, Azazel was, right, was trying to capture uh, um, death or something, a reaper, uh, that the key is anger. That took a long time to get out. It's about killing kids. I mean, look around, no blood, no anything. Certainly no bodies. Well, if evil is party in here, it's got a hell of a Yeah, no bodies. So if they're, those kids were yesterday, they should be, there should be bodies here. All right, that's cool. But if he can do it. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> I was stabbed brutally right here at this bar. Who done you? I'm really very busy. <laughs> You're really very not. Could you do me a solid and show me how to move that chair? Baby steps, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, let's be a bit of a pig. You're trying to grab it. I don't think that's going to work. You've got two ways to move things. What I did, which you obviously must, is calm yourself. Okay, so that works too. You're getting tense. You're not helpful. Well, he's trying to be. You're just trying to grab it, just like... Put up, put it up and just slowly, slowly push it, focus. Take my help or don't, but if you want to move a flea, surrender. That's very non-specific. <laughs> okay, that's rude. Very uncalled for. We deteriorate at different rates, some sooner, some later. And eventually all like that. Nothing left. Nice makeup. No bodies, no pieces of bodies, no Annie. A whole lot of sizzle and no steak. Well, maybe no news is good news. Well, if there's no Annie as well, then the kids might have been at the same night as Annie. And the bodies have been taken somewhere. Kind of like with the Ghost Facers episode. Is it me or am I being checked out? No, Stad, I'm being checked out. <laughs> Maybe you both are. Nothing that says that you can't pick, that you... that There's nothing that says that you have to pick. Saw you here the other day. I know the kind of work you do. Did? Hey, I'm still doing it. I mean... Yeah, sure, hold on to that. You're the one on my phone. When you were here, I was able to call out to you that way. Oh, spectral voice transference. Right, ghost juju. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what, what exactly did you mean when you said free me? Well, obviously these ghosts are all trapped here somehow. Where did Annie get her uh, intel, do we know? Stupid uh, flask. Bodega Bay Heritage <laughs> Society. Yeah, stupid flask indeed. Miles Van Ness made his fortune in the gold rush, eventually settling his family in Bodega Bay. Anything? <laughs> Feels like this old dude is acting. <laughs> He's probably not, he's probably just being that natural for him. Move. Well, we only went to real school, of course. Balls! Whitman Van Ness. It's like, Bobby is like trying to move it with his hand, but he needs to move it with his mind and just use his hand to guide it to like where he, how he wants it to move. Dexter O'Connell. A convict. Dexter was convicted for murdering Whitman's fiance on the eve of their wedding. Another calamitous event in the poor man's life. Hmm. A lady came by the other day asking all sorts of questions. Uh, 30s, red hair, good looking. Hmm. I gave... 30s? Besides Whitman's fiance, Dexter O'Connell was also convicted of killing a bunch of hookers who worked at the brothel. He escaped before they could hang him, but then he returned to the house where he was found shot to death. I'm sure he wasn't doing it. I, I'm sure he was doing it on order. You know, if I could, I'd be getting old waiting on you two to figure this out. <laughs> True. <laughs> he's going to move something because he's getting increasingly frustrated. He's going to get angry. Tell me you wrote that. <laughs> uh, no, no, I didn't. No, so who did? Huh? 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 Come on, guys. You're not stupid. Dude, we don't have time for this. Get your asses back to that house. We gotta get back to that house, Dad. 
It's like they're on, or Dean is like unconsciously hearing Bobby somehow. Enough! Thank you. No, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, maybe Dexter's trying trying to warn them or something. Trying to warn them all. Yeah, exactly. I can't watch this happen all over again. So he was framed all along. I thought he was acting like as an as Whitman's agent in like killing the uh, prostitutes and and the like. Holy moly! What happened there? It's like this guy is more than human at this point, Whitman. Like he can absorb uh, souls. Or use them, kind of like angels do. Like Cassiel did. We don't meddle in women's affairs. But we need to meddle to solve this. Get me how. I'm already dead. Might be something you worse, than, worse than being what dead. What do to Dexter? Punished him. Oh, okay. So when he does that, what happens? Just poof. Forever. Forever? I thought you said he punished him. Punished Dexter. Whitman framed him. Whitman killed all of us. When this yeah, he's a wrong, monster. He as a fancy lady. <laughs> I like that. I like that version. Fancy lady. And now, even in death, every soul he traps here makes him stronger. Okay, so where does he keep the bodies? I don't know. Very valid question. In the basement somewhere, I'm guessing. Ooh, a secret room. How fancy. I like. Danny? Sorry, boys. I'm leaving the pack. Danny. So how are you carrying that thing? That's not odd. <laughs> Your entire life is odd. <laughs> No, Bobby, that's stupid. She's here, and not in a good way. Yeah, Bo Bobby did tell you. Got a little slower since I left. <laughs> they have to be, otherwise the episode is over too fast, Bobby. You know this. I was a fancy lady. A hooker? Don't offend her. Uh. <laughs> if she says fancy lady, she's a fancy lady. You want to just tell them? I will. In my day, we believed in polite conversation. Yes, but you're terrified of Whitman, and the longer you're talking to, to these people, the more in danger you are, so just out with it. Please, you must... <laughs> what? Okay. Now we know whose bones to salt and burn. Let's go. It's not gonna help. Oh, the key. Okay, so he's tied to the key. It's gonna let him follow along wherever they go. But that's kind of good, isn't it? Because that means that Bobby and Annie are safe now for the moment. I figured our one ace was that bastard Whitman couldn't leave the house either. He must have pulled the number like you in the flask. Probably planted something on the boys. Yeah, a key. We could take advantage of the fact that Whitman's gone. Do what we're supposed to do. Let's go figure this out. Yeah. Whitman isn't in the house, so you have free reign. Do whatever the heck you want. You saw him pull the handle on the... to open the secret door, right, Annie? Well, you said he dragged those two dead kids away. Where did he take them? Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't risk following him. Oh, okay, so she didn't look. Yeah, you're doing it, Bobby. You're being zen. And there's the boys. The kids. Ah, oh, she's face to face. Oh. <laughs> That's gotta be unpleasant, being face to face with your corpse. What do you think happens to him? Heaven, hell, or... None of the above. Limbo. On a hunter's funeral. Ready for some peace. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna get, we're gonna get it for you, but... 
the big question here is how is how is this dude doing this? How is he trapping the ghosts here? The Van Ness family has its own mausoleum. All right, we light up the bastard and finish him off. <laughs> oh, he's speeding, speeding up the car. Get some iron somewhere, boys. Oh, that's not good. Take rid of him. I don't know. I got a bad idea. We just snapped him back to his favorite house. Exactly. So the key isn't the thing he's tied to. It's just one of the things he's tied to. Like his body is still back here at the house. Or there's some stuff of him still here, at least. We ain't got all day. I'm also fairly interested in why this dude is doing this. I will not be taken! <laughs> okay, so that apparently did Van Ness in. I didn't think that would work. Hi, boys. What? You can see me? Uh... What? I tried calling you the uh, talking board. It works. Yeah, but, it yeah exactly. It didn't work because Dean had the flask. Did you get stuck or what? I wanted to stay. Bobby, I need to help. Oh, dude, you've done enough. Seriously. I'll miss her. Me too. Yeah. Well, you didn't know her like I did. <laughs> and they actually did. What are you thinking, Bobby? You could be in heaven right now, drinking beer at Harvell's, not not stuck stuck here with you. Yeah. You still have work to do. That's uh, that's so telling. What Dean's thinking? Uh, you could be you you could be having some peace, not being stuck here in this. Eternal hellhole with the with us, the terrible people. I may be reading too much into it, but I don't think so. I mean, I think it's possible we could, I don't know, make it all work somehow? No. What are the odds this ends well? <laughs> very, very poor. Because <laughs> good things don't happen to us. We've said this. <laughs> Okay, so that was episode 19 of season 7 of Supernatural, and I enjoyed that. It was nice seeing Bobby again, like in a more substantial manner, I guess, and seeing his progress as a ghost. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to last, though. It can't last very long, can it? Like, I I've learned <laughs> over the course of watching this show that... In this show, we don't get happy endings. Like we, everything is half measures. Like I don't know, maybe that's the wrong word, but like you get one good thing and two bad things, pretty much. Um, it's never just like clean and easy and just like a win, you know. There's always some baggage or something negative about it. Like for example, we killed Yellow Eyes, uh, but opened the gate to hell. We uh, killed Lilith, but accidentally let Lucifer loose. We defeated Lucifer, but ended up with Sam trapped in hell. Uh, on a more like episode to episode basis, like the monster of the weeks are usually like, we kill the monster, but not before the monster has killed a bunch of people, you know? So it's like, it's never just like clean and easy. And I can't like, I can't kind of get over how much it also, like, it makes sense in story. It makes, like, in universe and for the character of Bobby. But at the same time, I can't get over how it devalues his, his death, basically. I, I don't like this um, approach they've taken with, like, having Bobby come back as a ghost. At the same time, I do very much like it because I get to see more of Bobby. And uh, I I love Bobby, so like in that manner, it's it's nice. But uh, on the whole, mm. it was a nice episode, though. I wish we had gotten more on this Whitman guy, but 
again, like I don't feel that the monster of the week episode, like the monster of the week, I don't feel that that was the central uh, part of the episode. I felt this was more about Bobby, you know, that he was the the big story here. So I don't mind that we didn't get more detail on this Whitman guy. Because uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. As far as having Bobby as a ghost, I mean, it could be a nice resource to have. You know, if you're fighting a demon or a monster of some kind, like, what are they going to do against a ghost? Uh, not a whole lot of things they can do, right? I wouldn't think so, at least. Because it's a spirit. Like, it's nothing physical that, like, a vampire can bite or kill. Uh, I don't know if demons can do much against ghosts. They probably can, right? Because they're spirits themselves, functionally. So maybe demons are, are an issue, but like everything else, like leviathans, what are they going to do about a ghost, you know? At the same time, what's a ghost going to do to them? Uh, but, I mean, it opens up possibilities that we haven't had before. This is also a bit of a pickle. Because as we've, like like what Bobby and Annie talked about in this episode, what happens to ghosts, uh, like vengeful spirits, like ghosts that stick around, that refuse to go with the Reaper uh, to the afterlife, what happens to them when you burn their remains or what have you? That looks unpleasant. Uh, and uh, does that, that should kind of annihilate them, right? Because they've been pulled out of, this, pulled out of this, the cycle, so to speak, the the natural order of how things are supposed to work. Uh, They've rejected that. So that means that Bobby won't end up in heaven or hell, but like hell is very unlikely. He's obviously going to go to heaven. I'm still pretty concerned about Dean. And I, I hope that something will change. I mean, nothing really has. It's just getting worse. And that comment he made to Bobby, uh, like telling him, how stupid he was for not going with the Reaper when he could be free of this torment <laughs> of existence on this plane. It's, it's really telling of where his mind is at. And yeah, I mean, he's going through the motions, but yeah, he's still in that place where like, he wouldn't mind like, he's in the car, he's driving, he, or like, he's riding in the car, but he wouldn't mind if the car went off a cliff, basically. Like, he's going to try to, uh, well, he's still going to ride the car, essentially, but he's not going to try to grab the wheel, and he's still going to fight against monsters and stuff. But yeah, I don't know, I just feel like he's very checked out, emotionally at least. At least. So that was episode 19. Four episodes left in the season. I hope that at least two episodes heavily focus on Leviathans of the remaining four. But we're going to have to see when we get to them, I guess. But that is for a different day. For today, I am done and I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, do take care of yourselves and peace out.